Hey, what's up guys? My name is Brendan and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to add a moon in three simple steps. Let's get at it. First thing I just want to let you guys know, this image as well as the moon that we're going to be using today, the download links can be found in the description below. So if you want to follow along with these exact images, just go and click that link. Anyways, let's get on with it. First thing we're going to do is obviously open up our image and then our moon image as well. This moon image I've already cut out, so I'm just going to get my move tool and drag it into my image that I want my moon in. Perfect. So now we have our moon in our photo. Obviously this doesn't quite look right, especially with the black around there. So the next thing we're going to do, we're going to add a, a layer mask to our moon by clicking this layer mask icon down here. Then we'll get this little box showing up basically telling us that we have a layer mask for our moon. We're then going to get our brush tool by pressing B or clicking this little icon here and we're going to make sure that we have black selected which is 100% transparent and I'm just going to go and erase around the edges of our moon to get rid of all the extra black that's left over from the night sky. So the next thing we're going to do we're going to get our curves adjustment tool we're going to make a clipping mask by clicking this icon here. What we're going to do is we're going to drag up our highlights and then we're going to drag down our shadows just a little bit so we keep retain that detail in the moon still. And then I'm just going to raise up the highlights a little more to make it a little brighter. So once we've adjusted our curves to where we're happy, we're going to go, we're going to get, jump over to our next step and we're going to get our color balance layer adjustment. We're going to make a clipping mask again and we're just going to play around with the blues until we find sort of a color that we're feeling a little more satisfied with. And then the cyan and red. So usually what I do is I add blue and then add cyan as well, so to give the moon sort of a white look, um, which is sort of what it looks like with the eye. So now our moon is looking pretty much good. The next thing though is, as you might have noticed, if you've ever taken a photo of a moon, it is like it's like a light, and there's light around the moon. So our next step, once we've done these other two things, we're going to just create a regular old layer, and we're going to select a nice light blue color, so not quite white but sort of just off from white. So I'm gonna click about there. And with my brush tool selected, click my brush tool or press B. I'm gonna get a nice big brush, just a little bigger than the moon. And I'm going to just click once. And then from there, I can adjust my opacity until it's giving off as much light as I feel looks proper. So it's totally up to you. It's all preference of the editor I guess. So those are the three steps that we have to do and as you can see our moon is already looking like it's meant to be there. The one thing that I would say is in this case is it might be a little bit big so I'm just going to go and I'm going to shrink down the moon just a little bit. Maybe let's say about here. I know I said there'd only be three steps but there's one extra thing that you should be aware of. No matter if you're doing a full moon, crescent moon, anything like that as we all know, only parts of the moon can be seen at certain times, but that doesn't mean that the rest of the moon isn't there. So you have to be aware of if there's stars anywhere where the rest of the moon would be. So in this case, the rest of the moon would extend out like this, so we wouldn't see any stars. In this case, we can't really see any stars, there's nothing big and glaring there, so we can pretty much ignore that. If we had a crescent moon though, we would want to go and erase out any of the stars with our clone stamp tool that would have been would be in the shape of the moon cool so that's all i have for you guys that's the three steps to quickly adding a moon into any photo in photoshop so if this tutorial helped you please like and subscribe that would mean so much to me anyways that's all i have for you for now again my name is brendan from outbound media and i'll see you next time